Hello all, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we shall discuss on types of solvers uh, in the Simulink. So, and uh, uh, yeah, we'll take an example, uh, say a zero crossing uh, detector and see how the different solvers, the fixed step and variable step, uh, uh, you know, affects this, uh, yeah. So let's start with the simple model of a zero crossing detection. So, yeah. Blank model. Yeah, uh, we'll take a switch block and uh, yeah, we'll take it greater than or equal to and uh, we'll give two constants, one and minus one. Apply, okay and a input block yeah so in this input on the timestamp of uh, ti i know step size of 0 0.1 uh, uh, we will try to give the you know we will try to uh, transit from a uh, plus 1 to minus 1 and uh, on top of this we will apply the different solvers like fixed step as well as variable step and see how uh, it affects yeah the output so Yes, we will just connect this. Okay, and a scope to see the output. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, so the model is uh, ready now. Uh, and yeah, this uh, for the input, uh, I have just created an Excel sheet, I'll just show it to you. So this is that Excel sheet. So if you see, uh, yeah, on uh, on the step size of zero point one, uh, like from minus one to one, the transition is happening between zero point three and uh, I mean uh, from zero point three to zero point four, and again back here in zero point six to zero point seven, the transition is happening. So we will just uh, try to import this uh, Excel sheet to our uh, model, uh, like for the input purpose. So yeah, for that you need to go to uh, yeah, here import the data option. Click on this import data and uh, select your Excel sheet. And yeah, yes, so here you need to select, uh, you need to make a slight change here that is uh, in the table instead of table, you change it to column vectors and uh, yeah select uh, uh, the specific column that you want to import say this one go to import selection here import data okay so this one and also uh, yeah you uh, this one yeah import selection import data so now both the things are imported here you can see here in the workspace so everything is good go to yeah your uh, model just save it you can save it here only so new model okay save it and uh, yeah we will make the changes whichever i mentioned so the solver options so go to model configuration parameters and uh, yeah the stop time is uh, as power uh, as per our inputs it is 0 0.9 from 0 to 0 0.9 if you see the excel sheet here uh, yeah 0 to 0 0.9 and uh, yeah variable step and we will keep it as discrete and also the max step size is not auto change it to 0 0.1 yeah and if you go to uh yeah data import and export you just enable this uh, yeah uh, just to make sure i have kept only uh, the the variables uh, name the input variable tu the same thing i have kept so nothing to change here so all good so apply and okay and we'll just run now so now if we get the output the transition is happening from transition 
reaction is happening from uh, uh, minus 1 to 1 between 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 and here if you see again 0 0.6 and 0 0.7 so this is in case of variable discrete step solver yeah so if you see the output as well so go to the output yeah here uh, you can see the output here uh, see from uh, 4 to 5 this one the sorry not this, this is the input sorry here uh, this one yeah if you see you have 14 14 uh, outs so it's like almost 2 extra so I'll just copy this uh, and uh, also paste it here for reference just a moment yeah here maybe I'll copy it here so yeah it's almost 3 uh, extra you have here so and also the transition if you see uh, the value uh, 0 0.35 you get it and 0 0.65 some extra values like you which means that in case of a variable step uh, it, it tries to uh, fix the delay it goes back in time and uh, tries to fix the delay and uh, takes or uh, takes the uh, you know provides the uh, output immediately at the specific instant uh, when the change happened when the change happened or the switch happened so this is the variable step just variable step so let's now change it to fixed step and see the output so go to simulation model configuration parameters so input remains the same uh, yeah uh, the start and stop time also the type is fixed step and described and uh, yeah I think everything seems good I think sample time I think it's okay not no need to change let's see apply and okay run uh, I think yeah the sample time needs to be changed there just a moment so yeah he yeah here 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 zero point one apply and okay yeah now if you run so now if you see uh in the fixed step in the fixed step the transition is happening at, at 0 0.4 and 0 0.7 not in between uh, 0 0.3 and 4 like it it, it, it is like it is kind of more delayed uh, it is not able to uh, make the transition immediately so it is not able to make the transition immediately but in case of variable step what happened there was an immediate transition it was going back in time like um, 0 0.35 uh, uh, 0 0.65 like the uh, it was going back in time and checking and it was uh, changing immediately in case of variable step but in case of fixed step it is not uh, 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 like the fixed step solver is not uh, uh, you know uh, uh, able it was not capable to detect the change immediately so it is giving the output after some time after some time yeah so if you can if you want to see the you know, output values also you can see uh, you can check here see yeah it's exactly the 10 values so it is not at all going back in time so exactly at the specific moment whatever it it, it finds that that uh, specific out is given so yeah i think i can fix i can copy it here yeah so this was regarding uh, fixed step and variable step solver so uh, simulac ensures that it takes some additional steps to detect uh, you know uh, this uh, zero crossing in case of variable step solver it was going back in time in case of uh, uh, but in case of fixed step solver uh, it was not uh, i mean uh, uh, the fixed step solver was not capable to respond to the zero crossing events uh, immediately or exactly at the specific moment uh, because of the fixed steps uh, fixed step uh, it uh, fixed step solver uh, was not able to respond to the zero crossing um, immediately whereas uh, in case of uh, variable step solver uh, they go back in time and fix the time lag or just gives you the output immediately or uh, at the exact moment when the you know uh, when the transition or the change took place so uh, in fixed step it takes uh, some time to detect this transition or uh, which we can call it as a real time one it took some time to detect this change yeah so this was all regarding fixed step and variable step solver 
uh thanks for watching the video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up thank you